Amenable. The word amenable means ready to be changed or controlled. Mitch was always amenable to whatever the boss wanted, but his constant willingness to agree got a little irritating to others in the office. He was always submitting to the boss, telling him that everything he did was right, going along with his ideas for the business. If he'd been a little less amenable, though, the boss wouldn't have liked him as much and would have found someone else to agree with him on everything. Amenable, ready to be changed or controlled. Acquiesce. The word acquiesce means to agree to without protest, generally without enthusiasm. After a long discussion, the manager finally acquiesced to his employee's request for a huge pay raise. Even though the manager wasn't sure if he had the money to pay the employee, it was important to comply with the demand. If the manager didn't acquiesce, the employee might decide to leave the company and go to work for its competitor. Acquiesce, to agree to without protest. Accommodate. The word accommodate means to make room for something, to help out, to go well with, or to do a favor for someone. The flight attendant saw that the old woman was having a difficult time with her bags, so she accommodated her by placing it in the overhead compartment for her. Like most people who work in the service industry. The flight attendant was looking out for the customer and saw the opportunity to do the old lady a kind favor. The other passengers also accommodated her by offering her the aisle seat, so she would be able to get out of her seat more easily if she needed to use the restroom. Accommodate, to fit, to have room for. Attrition. The word attrition means wearing away. A normal loss of workers or members by retirement or dying. The business was run badly, and people hated working there so much that attrition among employees became a problem as more and more left each month. The boss tried to stop the attrition by offering workers longer breaks and higher wages. That had some effect, and for a while there were fewer people quitting each month. But after a few months, the rate of attrition picked up again. And people began bailing out left and right. Attrition, wearing away. Apiary. The word apiary means a place where bees are kept. The beekeeper inspected his honey bees each morning in the apiary. He'd been keeping bees for many years as a hobby, but his apiary was producing enough honey these days that he was able to sell a little bit on the side and make a little extra money. Beekeepers need to make sure their apiaries are the right size, given the kinds of nectar and pollen that are available in the area. If the apiary is too large, there will be too many bees competing for pollen and nectar, and the hives won't produce enough honey. Apiary, beehive, place where bees are raised. Accessory. The word accessory means an assistant, and also refers to an add-on. Though Bob didn't actually carry out the robbery, he made an accessory to the crime by driving the getaway car. Because he contributed and helped out in the plot, he's just as guilty as the rest of the thieves. There are many laws on the books to punish accessories like Bob. They may not receive sentences as harsh as those who carry out robberies, commit murders, or engage in other kinds of criminal activity, but they'll be punished nevertheless. Accessory also refers to an add-on. Pam likes to pamper her kitten by adorning it with some pretty expensive accessories. If you asked me, the kitten looked rather silly, especially with the bow on her head. A well-dressed woman knows that the true charm of an outfit comes from carefully chosen accessories, such as an expensive leather handbag, a pair of beautiful calfskin boots, or beautiful ivory earrings. Accessory. Partner in crime, addition. The word anachronistic means out of place in a particular time period or out of chronological order. He drove around in an old car that was neat but anachronistic for the city where he lived. My grandfather is very old and set in his ways, so his views on the world can be somewhat anachronistic. 
Jim argues that certain aspects of our political system are anachronistic and should be updated. Anachronistic, out of place in a particular time period. The word audit means an examination of financial records for a person or business. After our company did an audit of our expenses, we realized we had spent way too much money on office supplies. They were nervous about their audit because they hadn't saved all of their old tax records. The audit showed that we had actually paid more taxes than we should have. Audit. A close look at financial records. Apathy. The word apathy means lack of emotion or interest. I am always surprised by some people's total apathy toward helping those less fortunate than themselves. The other day I saw a woman walk right past a man in desperate need of help without showing any concern for him or his safety. Her apathy toward lending a hand to the suffering man demonstrated her complete indifference to helping anyone but herself. Apathy. Disinterest. Without concern. Adumbrate. The word adumbrate means to outline or to foreshadow. The final plans for the construction project had to be adumbrated before the actual work could start. The sunny spring weather adumbrated the good times that lay ahead for the summer. Before getting into the finer details, I'll briefly adumbrate my views on this issue. Great works of art don't come out of nowhere, but are often adumbrated by earlier writers or painters whose names we don't know. Adumbrate, to outline or to foreshadow. The word abet means to give help to someone who is doing something wrong. When he drove the getaway car, he was definitely aiding and abetting the bank robbery. Kelly abetted her sister's lies by telling their parents that they were going to the mall. Whenever we hang out together, Greg always abets my bad habits. Abet. To help someone in wrongdoing. Arrogant. The word arrogant means full of pride and self-importance. We keep trying to convince Paul to stand up to his arrogant and overbearing boss, but he never has the confidence to do so. Yesterday, Paul's boss humiliated him in front of his colleagues, but even that didn't push Paul to confront him. Instead, Paul continues to submit to his arrogant boss's overbearing demands. Arrogant, full of pride and self-importance. The word ample means plenty, more than enough. The holiday celebration included ample amounts of food. You have ample time to complete the test, so don't rush through the answers. The house we're selling has ample space for a family, so maybe it will sell quickly. Ample, plenty, more than enough. Addendum the word addendum means an addition at the end of a book, an extra part, or something added. In the addendum to the latest edition of his book about global warming, the author offered some new information that wasn't available when it was first published. There wasn't a whole lot to add to what he'd already written, but the addendum brought the reader up to date on recent events and corrected some errors, which were detected too late to be included in the main work. If the book continues to sell well, maybe the author will keep adding on to it as new editions come out and new events take place. Addendum. Add-on. Addition to a book.